Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. Okay, so I'm pretty sure by now, if you're active on social media, you must have seen the video of my brother. First of all, my brother, and then my colleague, Mr. John Okafo, also known as Mr. Ibu. Mm -hmm. He's pretty sick. I have been down for so, 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 so many weeks. All I'm hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital since I speak to you. I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, and the best solution is in case his new idea didn't work, the best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go from here? Please, please. Be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut up. Please. Thank you so much. God bless. If care is not taken, he might be amputated. They might cut off his leg. And the fear of that is beyond description. It's something you can't even explain how he feels about the potentiality of him losing a foot. Someone who all his life, and is not a baby, has walked on both legs. Just suddenly, at this stage in his life, he's um, gonna have to learn how to manage with one leg. No matter who you are, the prospect of that can scare you to death. And that's exactly how he feels now. You know, I know that when the video broke, a bunch of, you know, interesting attention seekers began to say stuff about the video. Some of them had to, you know, lampoon Nollywood because this is not the first time something like this has happened. Some of them said all kinds of crazy things. I really don't want to give any attention to those guys because that's what they're seeking but you know as much as i do not want to care about what they're saying part of what they're saying is true but this is not the time to start parroting around the whole place with stuff like this we have someone we need to help we have someone who is sick and people who have followed me long enough know that I have dedicated my life to doing this, to helping Nollywood stars. I mean, whenever I see it, whenever I remember, to help them raise some money to take care of themselves if they fall by the wayside. And for all those people who were criticizing Nollywood and saying, oh, why is it that all the time our actors are begging for money uh, to take care of themselves? Why is it that we don't have structure, blah, blah, blah? I have been in Nollywood for about 27 years, not just being in Nollywood, like my first movie was about 26, 27 years ago that I featured in. So it's not when you hear membership for 27 years, it's not one of those textbook membership practically involved in Nollywood for 27 years. I can tell you for free, we are a miracle. The Nigerian entertainment industry is a miracle. Nothing short of that. If you go to many countries around the world, you see the involvement of government in something as sensitive and critical as the entertainment industry. We don't have that in Nigeria. We've never had any serious involvement or backing from the government in Nigeria. These poor traders, in the eastern part of Nigeria, for the most part, were the ones who took their hard-earned money and staked it for us to have what we call this widespread, well-known Nollywood today. Of course, we've been making movies for a very long time in Nigeria. We've had movies from stage, even. I remember the days of stage plays, Ogunde, and the rest of them. We've been doing all of this. 
But you see this Nollywood you're seeing today that's gone around the whole place, all over the world. You go to one country, from one country to another, 90 something percent of the people you call star today, it is from these marketers, these traders from the East who single-handedly worked and toiled to make sure that we have what we call this Nollywood you're saying today. Now we are moving even away from whatever it is they did. And we are moving to the next phase. We are going to the next level. But everything has been self-effort. We have been doing it by ourselves. The kind of money we get paid as actors is not something you can think of when you compare to so many other countries in the world. We don't even have royalties. You get paid, you're paid off, and you go. Why would you have royalties when there are no structures in place? That's why when you see an actor, he must have featured in a hundred movies, 200 movies. But if he is so lucky, he probably would have been able to build a house or so. Compare that to an actor in Hollywood or India. If a Hollywood actor features in about four, five, ten movies as a star, if care is not taken, he's probably having his own private jet. We don't have that luxury. We don't get paid too much. Like I said, things are changing now. But this is not what has always been. Thank God for Netflix and Prime Video and all the other streaming platforms that are coming into Nigeria to change the game for us. But it had not always been there. It had not always been like that. So when people talk, I wonder, what are you talking about? What is so wrong in a man who has done so well in the industry and attained families all over the world, all over Africa? He's been sick. His family has been doing this. They've been taking care of him. They can't do it anymore. They just had to come out and tell the whole world, look, we can't handle this anymore. We've been they didn't come to you immediately. He took care. No, they decided to do it because of this same toxic reaction that they were fearing. They decided to empty their purses to take care of their dad. And they can't do it anymore. So they decided to cry out. What's wrong with that? I'm asking. A politician who's going to go to power to steal your money will come out and say, we need to raise money for my political office or position and you guys will raise money and pump all kinds of money for them and they take their money run their campaign and still go over there to steal from you but it's okay and yet the guy who has been entertaining your family and been paid so little for it can't talk to you guys and say hey i'm stranded help me out here it happens everywhere in the world it's such a bloody shame that we have people who are seeking for attention, who want to use the situation in Nollywood to gain some fame or traction or attention, whatever it is. It's a shame. I remember when my brother Clem Mohameze was going through his own thing. I came out just like this and I spoke and I called on people, please help if you can. Do the little you can. And we stood by him and he went for that surgery. I mean, from the last time that I spoke with him, I think he's still there. Because if he's dead, you would have heard he's still alive. He's still there. Maybe if we didn't do what we did, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be with us here today. We do what we have to do as human beings and leave the rest to God. I did same for Uncle Olu Jacobs. I wasn't necessarily even calling for money for him, but just for prayers. If you can't give cash, you can give prayers. You can do whatever it is that you have to do to support. We have to be our brother's keeper. Life is tough in Nigeria. It's tough all over the world, but more so in Nigeria. And so, I want to use this opportunity right now to ask for your support for him. The last time I saw him was when I was going home to bury my dad. He was supposed to be there. I went to his hotel room. I was kneeling down on his knees. I've never said this out in the public. He's my brother. We're from the same place. He was kneeling down on his knees. He couldn't stand up. This thing was about two years ago. This guy has been in pain. This sickness has been there for a while. But he's just a fighter. Very resilient. Fighting all the time. Now that he's gotten to this point, 
I think that the best we can do for John, Mr. Abu, is give the little we can, whether in cash or in kind. I am pleading on behalf of my brother and asking you guys, of course, you know, I'm definitely going to give what I have to give. There has never been any time I called for help for anybody that I didn't go. I'll go. I'll do it first, even before you guys. We're going to place his account details on the screen. And I'm going to plead with you, whatever it is you can do, please do it joyfully and cheerfully. And trust me, in the same way the Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver, God is definitely going to show you love for doing that. If you think you're going to do this grudgingly, please don't do it. But if you're going to do it cheerfully and happily, and appreciate God for even giving you enough to be able to share with Him, please go ahead and do it. All of us are going to do this. There's no way John will be stranded financially because he is sick. can never happen. If he wasn't sick, you know he's a megastar. He gets job. He does things, yeah? There are too many things to do with money. But they have spent so much. This is not a new thing. This has been on for a while. So help. I beg you, help. The account details are on the screen. Just help. Send in whatever you think you can do. Whatever amount. If you want to pay in dollars, I'm going to also place my PayPal account over there. When you are paying, just say, this is for John O'Carfo. I will make sure I mop up every single dime in that account that has his name to it and send them to him. But the Naira account is his account. Don't pay to me, pay to him directly. I've confirmed that this account is his, so just drop it there and he will receive it and he will be grateful and God will bless you for that. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye.